Hey y'all, back in the Sound Shack. Episode, what is this now? Four? Uh, for today's demonstration, we'll be utilizing this gorgeous, I don't know, it's like a you know, 70s style Gibson Explorer. And this Exploder was given to me, well loved as you can see, by my good friend, Bobby Landegraff, Bobby Rock, as we call him, from Honky, and Down, and Rockingham, and other fine rock and roll outfits like that. We're not here to talk about this. We're going to talk about these guys right here. Garnet Herzog had many requests to reveal the secrets of the Garnet Herzog. So, we're going to talk about them today. These are both custom made for me by the good folks at Garnet Amplification in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Pete Thiessen, thank you so much, sir. And he custom made these. One of them's the Jamaica, with the Jamaican flag colors, the black and yellow and the green. And then my other fave to take out is the Ethiopia with the red, green, and gold colors that we love so dearly. Today, let's use Jamaica. Let's take her for a spin. So this is a pretty standard approach that I take, which is to have a just a really big, clean amplifier. Like in this case, I've got a Marshall Silver Jubilee just set clean, clean, clean. It's the tiniest little bit of breakup, just uh, accounting for how loud it is so there's a little speaker drive but other than that i either use that or a rolling jazz chorus any kind of clean super clean amp you can get i use that as the amplify sound sometimes i've even used an ampeg svt for example just a super clean super powerful bass amp you're guaranteed to get no distortion from the amp and believe it or not that's that's what I want to make music because I'm going to go into the front end as you can see go to the front end of the, the garnet it's bypassed at the moment but when I put it in line we get this <laughs> tube heat from the garnet. The amplifier itself doesn't really do much of anything. It's just making it louder. These little guys are about five watts. You could use it as an amp. It only spits out about five watts. Some of them have a speaker up put in the back. Uh, this just allows you to drive the front end of the garnet nice and hot. And then I set my output so it drives the amp a little bit, but not, not much. I try to get it at about unity for the output. And that way, all the all the tube joy is coming from this guy. And I find with tube amplifiers like Marshalls and High Watts and all the you know all those fancy dual rectifier amps, you kind of are doing that. This is just a really simple circuit for for accomplishing that same thing. There's a tone control, an input and an output. The tone control doesn't really do. It's hard to even say what it does, and I'm glad they haven't changed the circuit. It's not a highly functional tone control. It gets you, like, just normal up in the middle, kind of mid-rangey on one side, kind of, I don't want to say bassy, it's more like non trebly on the other side. It doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot, but I don't really want a bunch of circuitry between me and 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 the sound. So... I started using these years ago because they're just so darn dependable. I can only count maybe on two fingers any time I've had a problem with the Garnet Herzog. And that's just been, oh, swap out the 6V6 tube or swap out a preamp tube. So you can see, looking in the back, not much going on. 
six V six, twelve AX seven preamp tube. And the beauty of the circuit is that with my pedal board in front of it, it not only acts like a distortion circuit itself, it acts more like an amplifier wherein if I boost my signal going in to the garnet, I get that same sensation of boosting the front end of an amp. I'm talking all about it, but this is what it sounds like essentially. This is without without the Herzog. <laughs> just back my volume off a little bit I'm even though I've got what seems like tons of tube distortion I get back to clean really quickly <laughs> Back to back to all that goodness. Like I said, you drop the front end of it a little bit, and you get even more overdriven amplifier sound as opposed to a distortion pedal sound. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. <laughs> simple moves. Gargelis was a lovely cat, the original inventor of the Herzog and originator of the Garnet Amplification Company. And he was a really sweet old guy. I used to go see him at his workshop whenever we were in Winnipeg and drop in on him and he'd give me a like a paper sandwich bag, his sack from his lunch. He would dump out he would dump out his lunch on his workbench and then fill the bag with 6v6 vacuum tubes, old Western Electric and RCA vacuum tubes to put in my in my garnets. And then I'd walk away with this greasy little bag that used to hold a peanut butter sandwich and <laughs> take it and be on my merry way. So I have a great uh, affection for Gargillies and I'm really glad that Pete and the other folks at Garnet Amplification have continued to make these. So you can get a, a new one and I don't mind telling you that I've got plenty of old ones and you know, I swap them in and out for the old ones, new ones, various locations where our equipment is. And man, I have no, absolutely no trouble substituting one for the other. They really, I've stayed true to the, the design and the sound and, and the peculiarities of, of that particular circuit. So I may I'll just fool around a little bit more before you play a bit more guitar. You can hear the garnet hurts off. <laughs> 